The 14th annual Rexley Run kicked off on a frigid Saturday morning. Rex Lee was president at BYU between 1989 and 1995 and was an avid runner. Lee died from cancer in March of 1996 and the run was organized that same year and is held every year. Mariah Groh is the president in charge of putting the run together but she also participates in the race. And so this year I just ran with the 5k because I, I work so hard for this to not run it would kill me. Like I'm not a runner but to work so hard for something and not be able to participate would really just be hard for me. So. The last two weeks, my entire life, I don't, I don't remember school. I'm f so far behind, but I, this is what I'm here for. I care about this because this is life. You know, school, I'll pass, but this is more important to me. This event brings out thousands of people searching for a cure, and that helps motivate and inspire non-runners to join in the fun. It's awesome. Mariah, it's a lot of people. It's a, it helps like, helps the running atmosphere because I'm not a big runner but it's, it's really exciting it keeps you going through the race and keeps you motivated <laughs> keeps you from stopping so it's good josh and sean both rolled their way to the finish line with the crowd cheering them on sean remarked that the challenges in his life makes his experience in the race not that difficult uh, what like i've been through a, as far as what put me in the chair and things like that uh not a whole lot of people survive so if I can do that, I can do in, uh, this. Third Easy. Place, we have Another great turnout here at the Rexley Run is a couple oh, thousand the, people uh, participated. Some were here just to race and to support cancer absolutely. research. Some were here to race on behalf of others who have dealt with or are dealing with cancer. I'm running in memory of my mom. Um, she had breast cancer. So, and she passed away a couple years ago. Okay. It's awesome. It helps. It's just, um, you know, it's like to have something positive. Um, to remember and just um, a positive experience come out of it and know that you're kind of contributing to something and helping other people hopefully um, not have to go through the same things she did. So Actually my wife has had cancer and we lost a brother-in-law recently, uh, my wife's brother recently last year so kind of running for them. There's always a lot of people here, that's what's neat about it. Everybody's got their shirts on. And uh, just a, it's just a good celebration. Today. And we're here. There's somebody who I always think of is one of the vice presidents last year. She went home. She was the vice president for four months, and then she went home over Christmas break, and she got diagnosed with cancer. And so I actually took her spot last year because she couldn't come back. And so while I'm doing this, I definitely think of her. And she's actually, they just found out that she's clean, that she's clear, and she should be back at BYU. And it just kind of gives you that hope that this is doing something, that there are people who are fighting it, and they're doing exactly what needs to be done and I think that that's who I always think of as somebody who's fought to find the cure and then fought cancer and she's gonna come back and be even stronger. For Leslie Moon from the 108th Ward at BYU. So she's going through some hard times and we're all trying to help her out so we thought we'd do this for her. The event is a wonderful way to meet new people and enjoy yourself but most importantly money is raised for cancer research. Come next year. It really is a fun time. I mean, you you were here, you saw it. People people are they really just have a good time and it's all about finding a cure. There are people who just want to find a, a better time, but really it's about finding a cure. In Provo, Aaron Nilsson, True Blue. Try, try.